Hello, everyone. There are things you may want from God. You may wonder, Kevin, how can I get those things? I believe one of the ways you can get those things is learning how to wait. For instance, um, you may be married and you may have marriage problems. You may have tried talking about it. You may have tried this and that. Uh, you probably prayed so many times, but things seem to be going the same way. Well, learn to wait. You may not have a job right now. And you probably placed so many applications in. Uh, you may visit companies, going to this place, going to that place. And you may have prayed about it. Learn to wait. You may have children. And one of your kids or child is causing so much chaos, always getting into trouble. Maybe they have court pretty soon and if things go wrong, maybe that adult or whatever will have to be in prison for a very long time and you may have prayed. Well, learn to wait. I believe when you live for Jesus Christ, I believe that he hears your prayers. And the Bible also tells us that we need to have faith. So when you pray for something, believe that you have it. Believe that you have it even though you don't see it, you don't touch it, you can't sense it. Then after that, wait until, until you actually have it. Does that make any sense? I believe a big problem for many people is learning to wait. And you may say, Uncle Calf, okay, I understand what you are saying. How long do you think I should wait? Should I wait for one week? Should I wait for two weeks? Should I wait for a month or a year or whatever? Well, wait for however long it takes. And you may say to me, I understand what you are saying, but I am not so patient. You know, what I am praying for, I want it exactly now. And I understand what you are saying, but can you rush God? Can you push God? Like, do you have so much authority where you can force God to do it on June 22nd at 1.30 p.m. Are you able to do that? Are you able to force God to give you exactly what you want when you want it? I don't think so. Let me use myself for an example. There are some things I prayed for. And yes, sometimes discouragement comes to me. Sometimes, you know, I get these unwanted thoughts trying to tell me, I guess, that it is not going to work. It isn't going to happen. Like you are wasting your time. Just give up, so on and so on. I forget exactly when, 
I think more than one time it came to me in so many words like I don't really know how to say it but my obstacle is learning to wait so if you place it inside of your mind even if it takes a year even if it takes two years even if it takes three years or more have it in your mind that no matter how long it takes i still believe that i have it are you understanding what i am saying so i would say one of your battles is learning to wait and push away all of those negative thoughts let's go to mark chapter 11 verse 24 therefore i say unto you what so hmm, what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them pretty much what i was saying earlier when you pray for something believe that you have them even though you can't see it even though you can't touch it even though you can't sense it even though it isn't per se there believe that you have it now even though with your senses it is not there and i truly believe let me say this again i believe the one of the largest battles we have in this is waiting if you take it off of your mind how long it is taken if you place it in your mind that no matter how long it takes you are not going to give up i believe you can get what you want as long as what you are praying for is not a sin but let me stop here may god bless us